I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. Still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. All right. So it's Friday right now. Um, got the video posted. It should be going live in like 30 minutes. I am currently on the way to or getting ready to go to school to drop my sister-in-law off and also go to the library or a cafe to take a meeting uh, and get some work done. Uh, last night or yesterday in general, I was kind of panicking just because... Um, I had like six or seven things I needed to get done and I didn't have enough time to do it so I had to prioritize a lot and I decided to just focus on getting the video out. I think I recorded a clip um, but I was sat at my desk for like eight hours yesterday just focusing on work and then after work just editing. So yeah, um, am I bummed that I couldn't get everything I wanted to get done done especially since I'm doing a challenge? Yes, but in the like greater scheme of things in the bigger picture I think, you know, what I did was the best choice just because uh, I think Alex Hormozzi put it this way. Uh, most people look at things at a daily perspective, not a, like a weekly or a monthly. So let's use uh, calories, for example. Um, most, most people, I guess, eat around 2,000 calories a day. Uh, and if, let's say, you have a bad day, you have pizza or, you know, cake or whatever, and you overeat or you maybe miss a meal, don't hit your protein goal. Um, you might get bummed out and just quit or lose out in your challenge or whatever, right? Whatever you're trying to do. But if you look at it at a weekly perspective, you probably need like 14,000 calories a week. Uh, again, around depending on what your age is, like what your goals are and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you can always make up for it. Like you can, I don't know if it's scientifically the same, but you know, you still, the act of making up for it is still possible. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, do the work that I missed out on yesterday and the work that I plan to do today or try to at least. I should be a lot freer today. So yeah, that's the goal. Um, I gotta first get some. I gotta first get some stuff uh, in my bag, just in case I forget anything like a charger and stuff like that, because I'll be out for a lot of today. Uh, but I'm excited, you know. I've been on this desk pretty much the entire week, so I'm excited to go out. Try to bring you guys along, but my, my main goal today is to focus on getting stuff done. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, I hope you guys have a great great start of your day and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four. So we just got back from the gym. Uh, I'm preparing dinner right now. I still have a couple things I want to get done for uh, my app. Um, a lot of progress and a lot of work that I've been putting off, procrastinating, because you know it's new stuff that I haven't done before, and I just have that uh, overwhelming feel feeling of like not being able to do it. So uh, I'm gonna try to start today um, with some stuff that I think will be less friction, less intimidating. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys back after dinner and uh, give you updates. So yeah, stay tuned for that B-roll. Esas rolas que hacen que me acuerde de esa morra No dejan que una lágrima se esconda Pero son las que me gusta escuchar Siempre pendientes 
De aquí en delante es puro para enfrente. All right, it's been a while. Uh, it's Saturday right now. It's around 6, 6.15. Let me put you guys right here. All right, um, so what have I been up to? So yesterday, uh, I don't remember if I updated you guys, but I essentially did a lot of scoping and mapping. I basically drew out what I expect this thing to be and all the steps I need to get there. Um, basically plotted out the entire UI and also the, the backend stuff that I needed to do, the tables that I needed to make and how to connect those things. I think it's just gonna be a form. The UI is, uh, I did the UI today. And um, the, the idea here is just use Jake's resume template, try to co code it with like CSS. Uh, styling as best as I can um, and then uh, make it a form so that you know the inputs can go directly to the database uh, a row in the database um, and right now I'm thinking have a, like a master resume table or a resume table with a PK called resume ID and then uh, multiple other tables like education experience skills projects and then miscellaneous for all the you know random stuff that people have in their resumes um, and then map those to the master resume so that we can have uh, new rows for each additional experience you add and then delete those rows or cascade or whatever uh, for you know uh, submissions that you remove and stuff like that so that's my idea I don't know I don't know how well that's gonna work my only concern here is uh, if people have stuff that I can't parse so maybe uh, you instead of experience you have like professional experience or relevant experience right uh, I, th I think that should be fine but if you put work instead of experience then I don't I don't know if this is gonna work but yeah aside from that I haven't really been doing too much like I said, I got the UI done and the you know the database set up, but I need to connect the UI, the form to the database so that it can send data. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do that right now uh, or maybe right after dinner. Uh, and I think I'll update you guys later today or tomorrow. I don't know, depending on uh, how how I feel like, but yeah, hopefully you guys uh, are keeping along. I do plan to do a demo sometime this week by, by the end of this video uh, of where we currently are, the progress and you know my, my vision for what, what's gonna come and why I'm going this direction with this whole master resume concept uh, and some of the feedback that I've heard from from the beta users. Uh, for, those, for those of you who don't know, all the links are down below. If you guys wanna join the waitlist slash you wanna join the list to test this app, uh, yeah, links are down below. But yeah, I'm gonna share all that towards the end of the video, so stay tuned. All right, so it's Sunday right now. Um, I didn't really do much today. But I did notice when I was just checking the, the code today, uh, when I try to push a, an application or resume through uh, on production, so when it's deployed on Vercel, I'm getting an internal server 500 error. I'm not too sure why, because everything works great uh, locally with npm run dev and my local host. Uh, and I did some digging. It looks like this is uh, an environment error, something with an environment variable on Vercel. Um, I don't understand why though nothing changed since yesterday and everything was fine yesterday it's been fine for the past few months uh so yeah i'm gonna figure i'm gonna look into that hopefully today or tomorrow um by the way thank you guys so much for the support on on last week's video uh it's probably one of the longest videos i've ever posted so yeah i really appreciate that uh i've also been posting a couple of shorts here and there uh, and i think you guys have been vibing with it let me know what you guys think uh but yeah aside from that i'm gonna try to hash this one out and then tomorrow i hope to give you guys a full update uh, of the app, what, what its current state is at, and um, you know why I chose to do this master resume uh, concept and what I hope for it to be in the future. Uh, I do start work tomorrow to Monday, so it's gonna be pretty busy just because Q3, end of Q3, start of Q4, it's, it's a busy time for us. Uh, but I'll be, I'll, I'll try my best to, you know, to stay up to date uh, and stay consistent. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back in a bit. Yeah. Ooh, let's go. So it's currently 6.30 a.m. Fed up with my money run. And I wanted to pick up the camera because today just felt like one of those days where I'm so heavy. So it's the friction to record or just to get much done. When I woke up this morning, there was like this weight of all the stuff that I need to get done today. And it was pretty heavy. I felt heavy. So yeah, I wanted to share this one thing with you guys. Back in high school, I felt this same weight over and over again. And I usually never did anything about it. So one day I decided, you know what? I'll just do three things. No matter how many things are on the list, I'll just try to get three done. Because the list kept piling up. And I figured, you know, what's the worst that can happen if I just three things out? 
So I decided to do one personal thing, like going to the gym, journaling, whatever. One thing for work or school. One thing for my growth, future growth, reading, starting a business, learning about business, coding, whatever, right? Building an app, starting a project. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But that thing compounded. And it started with just three things a day, and eventually we got up to like 10, dozen, 20 things a day. Not because I felt like I was forced to, but because I wanted to. Like I got those things that felt so heavy done much quicker, like going through flashcards for school. Got that done very easily. Going to the gym, less friction. Reading, less friction. Working on my growth, less friction. So I started taking on more responsibility, more tasks. And it felt great. It felt great. But then I moved to, to the US and I stopped that habit. So here's the bring it back in. Three things. What's your three wins for today? Hope you guys like that concept. I hope it picks you up today. I think I got a lot to do today. I'll catch you guys back sometime later. Hope everyone has an amazing day today. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actors. I don't fuck with them. Someone else is driving it's not, today. It's not thinking. Oh, we should be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the cafe nearby to get work done, to go take a couple meetings, and they're going to school. I just want to play in my kitchen. But I'm hoping to get a lot done today. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler has a ton of yagi, her brain fried My lady papa zenny, I don't lady poppy molly, why she waiting on me? Yogi my area, yogi my area, keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a nap I don't wanna hear you, you get down, I ain't gonna know, like I'm Alright, so, uh, got home Uh, I think I have a clip, but I had, uh, I had an idea while I was working out earlier And I wanted to not implement it but you know get a first draft done and I think it took me like two minutes and uh, it's pretty neat this is for work uh, so one of the work projects I'm doing but right now I'm home I got an interview to do in like two minutes three minutes so I'm gonna go get set up uh, and then I'll catch you guys back sorry the lighting's pretty bad but yeah I'll catch you guys back uh, I don't know in a bit probably for dinner or after so yeah I'll see you in a bit Alright, so I forgot to do the demo yesterday, so I'm gonna do that today. We uh, we ended up going out for dinner last night and we had some really, really good pizza, so uh, I got them pretty tired and I just wanted to crash. But, um, you know, anyway, I wanted to showcase the app currently in its form, what it's currently capable of doing, and, you know, talk about some of my thoughts about the future and some questions I have for you guys. So, yeah, right now what you're seeing is the master resume concept that I've been building. It's essentially a form where you can input, uh, you know, specific things like your name, your bio data. Uh, your email, your GitHub, and stuff like that, and then your education, your you know experience, projects, technical skills, um, and the whole point here is to mimic Jake's resume, like the content. So uh, I think that's one of the best resume templates that you can use, just because it's been tried and tested multiple times, it's been proven to work. Uh, so that's what I'm going with here. And then once you fill it out, uh, you can go ahead and hit submit. And then what this does is it sends data to the back end, and I talked about the table, the architecture, uh, in a previous video. Uh, and then it goes to this master resume view page, which essentially shows how your master resume looks. There's some things I want to do here with formatting, and I also know I have to do some PDF uh, parsing and um, 
you know, ensure you guys can actually download the PDF to upload it to the, the application. So there's there's still work to be done. Uh, I still need to add like buttons to add more education. Maybe you have a master's or a PhD, uh, add more experience, add more projects and stuff like that. Um, and edit your resume. So obviously you can edit um, the content here if things change. Uh, but the goal for this is just to be like a, a dump for all your experience, like everything you do, regardless of its uh, whether you think it's relevant to what you want to do now or if it's small or big whatever it is if you can quantify it if you can't quantify it uh, the goal is just to, to put it here but yeah the goal is uh, to incorporate this uh, in some form uh, into the whole functionality of the app which is essentially giving you a score of how i guess how good your resume matches the job description um, and then you know if there's experience that you currently have but you're you're not putting it on your resume uh, it can refactor that for you maybe you just forgot or maybe you just didn't think about it uh, or maybe the bullet points are just not structured in such a way where you could quantify it in the XYZ format. Uh, whatever it may be, uh, the AI, the goal is for the AI to do that for you, to give you like the best resume based on your experience uh, that you can possibly output and apply for that job with the best chance you have. Um, still far from there, uh, right now, the core functionality of the app, let me just give you a demo real quick. I did this in one of the previous videos, but, but yeah, essentially what you would have to do here is hit the resume score button, a model pops out or a pop-up, it comes up and then you'd upload your resume in this case I'm gonna go with this resume and then you put in a job description so in this case I'm gonna do a DoorDash job description about a machine learning engineer and then um, you'll get a score with some feedback currently it takes about 30 seconds for uh, for me to call the API get the feedback compile it in such a way that is user-friendly uh, and then you know you guys can actually see the stuff so I might uh, incorporate some you know loading states and stuff like that here just so uh, it's much more, uh, I guess, uh, user-friendly. So yeah, right now you see it shows you the missing requirements. Um, the resume I had uh, or I provided didn't have any, you know, uh, PhD degree or experience post-PhD. So obviously it's going to put that here. These experiences wasn't there. Um, this is just a dummy resume I made. Uh, so yeah, and then it gives you resume suggestions on what you can work on. Uh, and then it highlights the job requirements just for, you know, uh, ease of use. So instead of skimming through the, I don't know, hundreds of words listed on the job description. You can just focus on what it really wants. And then it gives you a detailed analysis. So what I plan to add on here is a button or some sort of pop-up where you can see the optimized resume based on your master resume, uh, and then hit refactor or download that resume and then use that resume instead. So right now this guy has a score of 78%. Uh, and maybe with the optimized resume, he had, had a score of like 92%. I don't know, I just, I'm just spinning a word out there, uh, a score out there, so yeah. Um, that's the plan and then you can save it as, as an application or just close it out uh, and then this is also a job tracker so you can go to your applications page and then keep track of all the jobs you've, you've applied for um, and yeah just you know keep, keep changing the statuses if you've got an interview you can hit interview and then I'll give you uh, in the future I'll give you like some interview questions that you can prepare uh, I'm also planning to add like uh, a couple other columns like cover letters so for every application you apply to it, it spits out a cover letter um, that is based on specific criteria that I think works best uh, and also uh, I plan to add a referral col column just for analytics so uh, if you were referred to the job I would like to see the chances of you know your correlation between jobs referred to interview success and stuff like that so uh, yeah let's head over to the profiles page where I actually uh, have some analytics so yeah right here in the profiles page you can see uh, some basic information about your yourself uh, so right now this account is on the serious plan and this is when it's supposed to expire so right now uh, I just put in a lot of tokens in my account, so it's unlimited technically. Uh, but theoretically, you'd be using Stripe to purchase tokens slash upgrade your monthly plan. So right now, Sirius is one of the higher plans where you get 30 tokens a month, uh, where you can use it for like uh, applications, resumes, whatever. Uh, and this is just some basic uh, application statistics. So how many applications you applied this week, how many interviews you got, how many offers you got, how many rejections you've got. And this is your all-time stat. So this account has 48 applications, seven interviews and seven offers. This is all fake data, of course. Uh, and then right here, the bottom, it shows you a chart. Uh, I do plan on, on improving this chart, but this is what it is right now. It shows you, you know, your timeline of how, how many applications you've applied at what date um, and, you know, like your peak application days and, you know, your 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 low application days. Hopefully what my goal is for, is for this platform to be uh, past, present, and future. So in the past, what have you done? In the present, what are you doing? And in the future, what can you do? So uh, like right now, it looks like this this part of my timeline, I barely apply for any job, so you could improve there. Um, I also wanna add a learning component to this. So the goal is for this, uh, this, this app to have all, like all your experience, all of your knowledge, all of your skills dumped into one platform. So 
it ultimately knows you and what you need to do. So I can curate a custom roadmap for you to learn. And my goal is to do um, like a like a dashboard or, or something uh, where it gives you three things that you can improve on this week or this day, right? Based on what you uh, what you have experience wise, what you've added from yesterday and stuff like that. And not only will it give you suggested uh, topics that you can learn on topic like skills and stuff like that, courses, whatever, it also should be able to provide um, based on AI. Uh, questions that you can work on, projects that you can work on with data sets, dummy data, and stuff like that. So uh, my goal is to incorporate all that. Again, this is all down, down, down the line. Be 100. Um, I didn't expect us to get this far, this fast, uh, which is which is why I have a couple questions for you guys. So right now, as it stands, I need your help. I want to know, um, one, about the master resume concept uh, based on the uh, ERD that I drew. Currently, a user can have multiple master resumes. I don't know if that's the best solution, just because I think that can be confusing. So uh, the whole point of the master resume is to be your one-stop shop for any single um, experience, skill, whatever that you have in that uh, PDF or page or whatever. Um, but I can see edge cases where like people like myself maybe are interested in software engineering and data science, and they want two separate resumes for that. But I still think it's better to just compile it in one and then if you're applying for a software engineering job instead of a data science job, the AI, if it's doing its job right, should optimize it based on the skills that the job description is looking for. So that's, again, that's what I that's what I think. I wanna get your feedback. I don't think there's any other edge cases, but do let me know if you think there are any or if you find any that I, I didn't think of uh, in the comment section below. And then the second question I have for you guys is, one of my goals earlier this year when I was building this app is to launch it by August and it's currently September. And the reason I haven't launched it is because I just stopped working around July. And uh, I, I had everything set up to launch as it currently is, where initially my goal was to just give you a score uh, and feedback on what you can improve on. And now I have new features that I wanna add, new ideas that I have. And I don't know if I should keep prolonging the launch because I, I don't know if currently at this, like where it is right now, if you guys would wanna use it or if you would rather me implement new features and stuff like that before releasing it. I have a wait list of about 100 people who are interested in trying the app out and I don't wanna keep them waiting, but I also wanna make sure the app is in a place where like people are happy to use it and stuff like that. So uh, I've had a couple of my friends and my family members test it out and they've been using it regularly uh, to apply for jobs and you know I'm tracking their data and stuff like that so I can see their patterns and what, what's working for them and the feedback and stuff, um, but this is where I, I need your help. So I need to understand, um, as it currently is, are you guys comfortable using it? Would you like to use it? Would you like to try it out? Try it out? Uh, I'm gonna be fully transparent. There's a free plan, and the free plan consists of three free applications, basically three tokens, and then there's a casual plan, which is a monthly fee of $10, where you get 30 applications, and then uh, 30 cover letters, 30 resume scores, whatever. Um, and then there's a serious plan where it's 90, and then determined plan where it's unlimited. So yeah, with all the knowledge you got from this demo, would you consider using this app? That's what my question is. I wanna understand if it's in a spot where I should launch it right now, have you guys try it out, and then work on the fe features in the back end. Uh, but then again, uh, when I'm buying something like this, when I'm buying a, a membership or a subscription or buying a product, I like to think of what it is right now is what it'll ultimately be forever. So I don't wanna buy something on the promise of you know p potential features in the future. So I wanna focus on if, as a customer, I wanna focus on what it has right now and is it worth for me? I can do a better demo if you want, but I think this is pretty descriptive. Um, but yeah, uh, in the future, I do plan on implementing a lot of other things, like I said before, but again, um, that's that, that's just me, my hobbies, and you know, as proven before, my life can take uh, priority, my personal life and stuff like that. So I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure that um, I'm fully trusting what you guys are saying. I wanna hear what your thoughts are. And if you, get, if you guys think you'll find value from this app as it is right now, I will be happy to, to release it to uh, all of you guys and at least have some, some people use it on a regular basis, get your thoughts uh, and improve it from there based on what you guys think. Priority. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below, Discord, email, whatever preferred contact that you guys have, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, cool, I'm gonna get some stuff done for work before uh, my work starts. I just have a couple things I wanna get done before my first meeting, so yeah. Um, I will catch you guys back maybe later today or maybe this is it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you found any value from this video, do leave a like down below. Consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. I hope you like this new format and I hope you continue to like this new format because I think it's going to stick for at least a couple weeks. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys back next week. Cool. See ya. Look, how many times did I match this work? 
over like 10,000 days Bros in court with the A-list model wife's that cause she breached the NDA Just had a call with Irish Jack Man don't rap but he lets it spray Two leg ones came through their twinning so I'm gloved up like Cray Sweet one just wanna waste my time babes What's the ETA? I like my girl on time that's